Hey guys, just want to let you know before this video begins, just want to give a quick warning. All the information I'm giving out in this video, most of them might not be true, but this is all everything that I mostly heard from other content creators. So if anything I said false, just leave it down in the comments below and I might read them and yeah. How's it going guys? Um, just probably wondering why there's the no intro, the goofy intro as usual. Um, cause this video is gonna be very serious. Um, if you want, you can go check out Luigi's Mansion 3, episode 5. But yeah, this is a technically a video, not really a pineapple gaming show video. More like, a spread and awareness about something that YouTubers really never talk about. Uh, you know, probably everyone already knows the, um, the stuff that happened with YouTube, Google, pretty sure, and the FTC, now with the new rule. COPPA is basically for content creators, um, there is a new rule or some little thing in YouTube when you're uploading videos is to be if it's marked for kids or not marked for kids, that thing. Now you're probably wondering like, oh, alright, well, I can just mark my videos because they're not for kids. Well, that's the thing. You're, you are in deep trouble, alright? You're not safe anymore. Not like this, this ain't other YouTube, this ain't YouTube anymore, right? This is like, the ast the Earth is YouTube, the content creators are the dinosaurs, and the asteroid is the FTC, and it's going to destroy the content creators, and most of YouTube. This is all going to be regarding, um, what all the information that I have heard. Any other information that, uh, that you think that I is false, Either there's false or I misspoken something. You can leave it down in the comments below. Um, this is everything I've heard, and I have nothing else shown. And yeah, most of the stuff was from Chatronic. Um, please check him out. Um, he started this whole thing, spreading the word about Kappa. So anywho, let's just get on with the video. So you're probably gonna be wondering. I'll be answering this question later on. What will happen next after January 1st of 2020? Which is when COPPA will officially be released. Um, we'll answer that question later. Until, But first we have to uh, talk about what the hell COPPA is, the rules, and how this hell happened. Basically, uh, COPPA was actually a rule since 1983 and gets refinanced, I believe, or refurbished, or refined. Uh, it was supposed to be refined by 2025, 2023, but it got refined early because of uh, Google got into trouble. People keep saying that either it wasn't because of the Spider-Man also videos and because it was, or because YouTube was stealing kids' data. That's what I've been hearing, but I don't really know. Google was fined with $170 million. Now, I do not know why YouTube is into this. Maybe it was YouTube as well, or it was Google, I don't know. So now, not only is not it's not just google or youtube that are getting the punishment now it's also the ftc is saying that the content creators are also gonna get punished for this they did nothing wrong yep. yeah so there are regarding rules now from the ftc because so they have to be a jerk and organize this because they think it's the right thing to do and they don't know what to do so i mean so this is what they did they brought us cop up which is going to ruin YouTube for content creators and content watchers all over the world. So basically, all your favorite channels are most likely are going to not record any more videos. They're not going to, they're going to quit YouTube, or they're going to upload videos that you never, that are different from the videos you watch. Here are the rules, so here's the thing. So in order to do this, they have a tick mark box, two tick mark boxes, and um, either you have the choice to do it, or... So uh, YouTube can do it for you, but not YouTube, they're machines. And um, they also said, but you don't really trust them. And especially my Luigi's Mansion 3 video, as I, you may probably can't check it, but I did. And it's video is made, they said it for made for kids. Here's the things. So you have the two tick marks, right? Um, I mean, I haven't done most of my videos yet. Um, I would just, so you're probably already wondering. Uh, before we get to, I usually move my video not marked for kids, but the problem is my channel videos are all marked for everyone to watch. I don't say I don't make videos that are only going directed for children that are under the age of twelve or eleven. 
and, or I do not go to make videos that are over the age of 16 years old adults or adults just like over 21 years old yeah so i don't just do adult videos only that are going not for kids and i do not do videos that are going towards kids i make videos that are for everyone to watch because i want variety of people all right i'm not gonna be like only a big person just i'm not like oh i just want adults watching my videos only and in my analytics, this probably has nothing to do with any of this, but uh, most of my subscribers or people who watch my this stuff um, on my channel are 13 to 17 years old. So that's around the teens, um, teenage. So as I said, two tick marks uh, when you have the choice to mark your videos for kids and not for kids. If you mark your video not for kids, there will be some other stuff happening. But if you mark your video for kids, here are the rules. Your video will not be searchable. Your video will not get notified. No one will get notified by your video video that was uploaded. Your video will not be searchable. I said that already. Um, your video will not will make ninety percent less revenue than you usually do. Anywho, your video will not have any comments, and your video will not be suggested or recommended to anyone. So basically, that means your video is not watchable. I mean, it is, but only. I mean, technically, for me. I upload every Saturday, so people would always usually check. But I bet you no one has notifications on my videos. You should actually do that. So yeah, now you're probably already wondering. Probably thinking in your head. All right, now the strategy. Not make my videos for kids. Well, that's where you're wrong. See, this is the part where you are not safe at all. This is what I've heard, all right, this part. So basically, the FTC, if your video, mark, if you mark your video now for kids, and the FTC sees the video, and it looks like, it, to them, it is made for kids. You get fined. A huge fine. A $42,000 per video. And also, for the mark for kids, this is where you're going to get really scared. For you content creators. Kids jokes. Music. Kids games. Video computer games. Video slash computer games. Children's TV shows or stars. Cartoon characters, sports, stories, toys, children's books, fantasy, children's arts and crafts, pets, products purchased or consumed by kids like snack food or cereal. That is legit everything everybody watches on YouTube. So, yeah, YouTube, I mean, FTC is being a big jerk, but... There is some stuff, good news, a little bit, you know, just to get you a little bit off, like, uh, out of your seat, you know. Uh, you can do two things. Uh, they're not two options. They're not optional, like, to have you do this or that. There are two things you can do. So they can overlook, so FTC can overlook, COPPA. Um, you can leave a comment down um, about this, but please do not be an asshole about this, because this will ruin a lot, and they're going to be like, oh... Well, these are just kids, you know, it's, it's ruined. Also, you can also sign a petition um, so they can uh, set, uh, get rid of, like, make sure it's not super uh, overreactive or go. the rules are too far, you know, you, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, you can sign the petition. Uh, I signed it myself. Uh, so, so either so you can write a comment down on the government page. I, I think that's how you say it. I do not know. I am just pissed off. Or you can just do uh, R and you could sign a petition that they'll overlook this and say that this is a bad idea and will hurt content creators. And the deadline is by December 3rd. That's when I last checked. Um, hopefully. The thing is I'm pretty sure it's like to 1 million. And if we get 1 million, then everything most likely will be back to normal. I'm not sure... But that's what I'm thinking will happen. Or they'll change the rules. Or get rid of a lot of the rules. And also, I still heard this isn't a YouTube rule. An update. This is the government's law. Right? This ain't a YouTube algorithm. Alright? This is the government's law. Now that you've heard me uh, talk about what COPPA is. The consequences. And everything like that. Let's talk about what's happening to my channel. So I'm technically screwed, but now the question is, will I keep on doing YouTube, or will I quit? Um, for me, 
I honestly don't know. I mean, it depends if how much pain I'm in. And, uh, yeah, most likely, um, if I do quit YouTube, I'll end the entire thing with, uh, the Luigi's Mansion 3 episode, the final episode. There's a part of me right now that's saying, uh, until January 1st, if Kappa still goes, if Kappa is finally released, and there was not a lot of people signing the petition, or they didn't look at the comments, then, um, I'm just, probably will quit YouTube. But another side of me... It's telling me to just keep on doing these videos. But the thing is, what's the point of me doing these videos and no one's going to watch them? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you guys will be able to watch them, but how would you know? I uploaded a video. All right, FTC? You're ruining this for everyone. All right? N not, not, not just the content creators. Right? But the people who watch the content creators. The people who are working for this stuff. All right, who are making a living off of this. So, is this going to be the end of the Pineapple Gaming Show? Or, will I continue on for a very long time? Or, I will suffer, and um, my videos probably never be the same as usual again. Yeah, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I really wish I can get to 100 or at least 70 subs before the end of this year. Um, but, you know, I don't think reaching 100 subscribers is going to work. Well, because of Kappa.